Set your phasers for stunning Blu-ray 3D! <laughs> Damn it, Jim, I'm a reviewer, I'm not a doctor. I don't know what this has to do with being a doctor, but just enjoy the review. Ugh. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Star Trek In the Darkness Blu-ray 3D Combo Pack and Phaser Set. We got the packaging comes with it. It says Star Trek In the Darkness has a picture of Chris Pine as Captain James T. Kirk with his phaser. And you can see the actual phaser in the little corner right there. Sides of the box just say Star Trek Into Darkness. Well, the back uh, continues that same lens flare kind of packaging. And the only thing you can see in the corner right there, it says rated PG-13 for intense sequences of sci-fi action and violence. I'm not as good John 3.0. You better set this phaser for a study review. And here we got the Star Trek In the Darkness 3D combo pack and phaser. A really cool set. A um, little disappointing in some aspects. I'll get to that, but let's take a closer look at it. So first, let's talk about the movie itself. You get this on Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy for both uh, your Ultraviolet and iTunes. So you pretty much have uh, five ways or kind of four to watch this movie, you know, um, I if you guys seen my review of this back in May uh, You know, I love this movie. I gave it a five out of five one of my favorite movies I even love this more than the 2009 Star Trek. I and when you watch this movie JJ Abrams is perfect for directing Star Wars episode 7 so I'm very excited for that and yeah, like what's cool about this it has this uh, cool little like movable Link rear, um, whatever it's called, uh, cover. So I like that. That you see the Enterprise, like you know, crashing down. Some very cool. This movie looks stunning in Blu-ray. I haven't seen Blu-ray 3D, but this was one of the best movies I saw in 3D all year. Uh, better than like Iron Man 3 or Man of Steel and and a bunch of others. It comes with the Blu-ray 3D. Like I said, I don't have a 3D Blu-ray player, but I, uh, I'm sure it'll look amazing because it looked amazing in the theater. Then this too is the Blu-ray and special features. Now the special features you get quite a bit. Uh, there is some missing like there's no commentary which really bums me out because I would love to have some sort of commentary from J.J. Abrams or Roberto Orsi and, and Alex Kurtzman, you know, the writers and you know, any of the cast members because I love commentary. And you do get some cool little behind the scenes features. It talks about, you know, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch who uh, played uh, Khan and talks about, you know, the look of the Klingons, you know, like creating them and, and incorporating them in the film. Talks about, you know, the attack on Starfleet. It talks about the Red Planet sequence in the beginning. Uh, it talks about the big fight in San Francisco with Khan and Spock and um, yeah, some really good special features. Altogether, I would say it's like around an hour, maybe longer with all the special features. Um, like I said, I do wish that there was some commentary, but some pretty good special features, I would say. I, I felt pretty satisfied just minus the commentary. And then uh, this three is the DVD uh, feature and you know, you got this ultra-violent or digital copy for your iTunes, so you can buy on your iPhone, iPad, iPod. On to the phaser. Now the phaser itself, um, um, is cool but a little bit disappointing in some aspects let me tell you so um, let's take it out of here so this thing is a little bit heavy because it's made what feels like die cast it's 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 part die cast part uh, plastic with some uh, chrome bits here it has some nice details right there it even says um, you know uh, PLJ a bunch of numbers blah 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 it has the little dial that does not work so it's kind of like um, silver painted it has some sort of paint shading right there you can see but um yeah it's it's more just like a silver uh color all together with a nice uh gray uh on the hilt right here of the handle and um and like it says uh right here t1 battery only so uh, I, I wish this thing uh, took batteries which i'll get into and you can see the chrome right there so it's nice and shiny and it has some red chrome so you know a uh, stun or kill you know so you can see that and yeah like it's it's it is pretty heavy and uh, i just wish there was more to it but there is a cool little feature it does it does switch from stun to kill so you just uh pull it like that and then there now you have it on stun you know, like I said, you know, just some chrome bits. I wish there was some way that this could have 
lit up and had some lights and sounds because that would have been so awesome. I was kind of hoping it would be, especially with the price, but it still is a nice little display piece. It does come with a stand for the phaser, which is really nice. It's uh, just like a little plastic uh, stand, but it does have some uh, writing on there. It says Star Trek in the Darkness, Starfleet phaser so it's pretty cool what's great about it it works really really well you just kind of like slip it in here and then you can see the notch right there it goes into there and then it has little notches on the top right here it stays in really good you don't have to worry about it falling or anything even if they're shaking or earthquakes or anything so it's a really good stand um, it works really well for it i love star trek in the darkness i'm so happy to have it on blu-ray and blu-ray 3d if i ever decide to get a 3d blu-ray player and i really like the phaser However, this, um, what you're seeing right here, I got this on Amazon for 80 bucks plus tax. And even if that's a die cast phaser, and if you think about the movie being around like, what, 30 bucks for the 3D Blu-ray and everything, maybe 25, 30, that means that phaser is around 50 bucks. And to me, I think that's a little too much. <laughs> I think this is 20, 30 at the most. And if it had the lights and sounds, I think, yeah, it'd totally be worth it. But to me, it's just, it's a great display piece. You can even use it for cosplay. It'd be a little heavy and I'd be a little worrisome if you dropped it because you might scratch off some paint. To me, I mean, there was another um, collector's edition that had like the Hot Wheels. That one was uh, cheaper, but it's just like a little Hot Wheels thing and uh, some art, I think. So this is great if you'd like having replicas and it's a cool little display piece so don't get me wrong and you can even kind of play with it i just if this had lights and sounds i totally say it's totally worth it but without the lights and sounds i think if this was cheaper if this goes down 30 bucks to 50 or less totally get it but at this price right now i just say if you have like the playmates phaser that came out years ago that was only 15 bucks that even though it wasn't made out of die cast it was a lot it had lights and sound stick with that or any of your other you know diamond select phasers with that said i still love the movie and i still think the phaser is cool i just wish it was a little bit cheaper so with that said like i said i only recommend this if you get it cheaper definitely buy the movie but for this actual combo pack well, wait till it goes down price so for the latest in geek news reviews podcasts more go to bkbn.net i'm sean long member celebrate your name in a big way Ripped. where does he get those wonderful toys excuse me he was saying he gets them at alteregocomics.com <laughs> For the latest in hot toys, sideshow collectibles, replicas, and more, visit alteregocomics.com. They take PayPal, pre-order, and they lowest prices on the net. Lowest price for hot toys? You must be joking. Do I look like I'm joking? Check out bkbn.net. Jason David Frank, Tommy the Green Ranger. <laughs> So I just talked to Scotty. He told me this is not even a real phaser. Uh, con! 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 By the way, when is my next con? Power? Con! Live Sean Long and prosper.